Dennis, whose real name is Bob Lazar, met our news unit in front of the home of John Lear, put on a microphone, then sent shockwaves through UFO circles. Lazar recalls what was going through his mind at the time. It was a very frightening moment. It was uh, certainly not a comfortable thing to do. Within days, the story of the Dennis interview had traveled around the world. Busloads of the saucer curious descended on the outskirts of Area 51. The little town of Rachel became a hub of E.T. enthusiasm, and the search was on for the true identity of the man in the shadows. Lazar had told us he was concerned about getting into more trouble than he was already in. He was referring to this. Two months before the Dennis interview, Lazar began taking a few friends out to the desert on Wednesday nights. They focused their attention not on Groom Lake, but in the direction of Papoose Lake, which is where Lazar said he worked, a facility he called S4. And sure enough, on each of three outings, the groups witnessed a glowing disc rise above Papoose, even though officially there has never been a base or facility there. How did he know? Three decades later, the public is still fascinated with the story Lazar unleashed. I was, you know, very worried at the time about repercussions and, of course, had no idea that we would be talking about this 30 years down the road.